Pop quiz number 37. A client with DVT suddenly develops dyspnea, tachypnea, and chest discomfort. What should the nurse do first? One, elevate the head of the bed 30, 45 degrees. Two, encourage the client to cough and deep breathe. Three, auscultate the lungs to detect abnormal breath sounds. Or four, contact the physician. The very first thing you're going to do is number one, elevate the head of the bed 30, 45 degrees. I keep preaching this to you guys. If a patient's having difficulty breathing, one of the first things you're going to do is elevate the head of the bed. When you elevate the head of the bed, immediately it pushes that diaphragm down so that the lungs can expand. It's easier for the patient to breathe. Now, let's look at the wrong answer choices. Two, encourage them to cough and deep breathe. They're having trouble breathing. That's why we're elevating the head of the bed. Choice number three, for what? Listening to those lung sounds, all it does is waste time because look at look at the symptoms that we have for this patient. What is listening to those lung sounds going to tell us that the situation hasn't already told us? By the way, guys, when you see a patient has a DVT, one of the first concerns that better be in the back of your mind is that DVT, that thrombus dislodging, going to the lungs and causing a pulmonary emboli embolism, which is, I'm pretty sure, what the patient's experiencing now. So don't waste time with that. For contact the physician, yes, you're going to do that, but that's not the first thing you're going to do. When they ask you about priority, you got to think about it this way. I can only do one thing. If I can only choose one thing to do for my patient to save their life, what's it going to be?